the very beginning of this lesson, or not this lesson, but this, uh, this entire text, we started talking a little bit about congruency. And congruency means that two things are exactly the same, the same length, the same size, everything about them um, that matters from a mathematics standpoint is exactly the same. Now we're going to take a sort of a step back and we're going to talk about similarity. Similarity is where two things are the same shape, but they're not necessarily the same size. So if I have, uh, for instance, any two squares, all squares are the same shape. There are four sides, they meet at 90 degree angles, and all four sides are the same length. So if I have any two squares, they aren't necessarily congruent, they aren't necessarily exactly the same, but they are, no matter what size they are, they're all going to be similar. They're all going to be exactly the same shape. The only difference may be in their size or their scale. Now if we have, say, our first square over here on the left, let's assume that each of these sides on this square is two units long. That makes this square something we could divide into four parts here, make four little squares out of it. Yeah? This square is two units on each side. That means if this square over here is, say, six units across the top, since these two uh, figures are similar, which we designate with a single curvy line like this, that means that if this top side here has six, the right-hand side also has six, because it, the right-hand side increases by the same scale factor. To go from the top of this square to the top of this square requires a multiple of three. That means that any other side would also require a multiple of three. And that works with any two shapes that are the same uh, that are similar in shape. As long as they have the designation similarity, meaning that they are exactly the same shape and have all the same angles, the figures will have sides that are in proportion. So if, for instance, I now have two triangles here, if this triangle here is three units on this side, and we know that it's, say, four units on this side, and four units on this side, if this triangle down here is similar, and it is eight units on this side, then we know that this side is also eight units and this side is six units because they have a scale factor of two. Either you multiply the numbers in the top one or the side distances in the top one by two to get the bottom one, or you divide the bottom sides by two to get the top one. That's what that scale factor of two represents. So as we're going through this lesson here, we're gonna be looking for these scale factors and seeing how different shapes can be um, identified in length based on figures or measurements from similar shapes and then finding the corresponding sides to the similar shapes so that we can see what the scale factors might be.